looking at Alec Michael Ryan in the title role of the Rev Theater's latest production, Buddy, the Buddy Holly story. The latest musical about the singer who hit the charts with That'll Be the Day, Peggy Sue, and Oh Boy, before dying tragically. It was filmed uh, at the Rev in Auburn so audiences everywhere could enjoy it. And this morning, we're happy to have Alec joining us along with the show's director and choreographer, Richard Hines. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So, Alec, tell us a little bit about Buddy. Who is he? Buddy is this good old Texas boy uh, from Lubbock, Texas, that grew up uh, with a musical family and kind of like got bitten by that bug early on and um, knew what he wanted and um, had the talent and the knack for it and just went after it. And, um, you know, the whole world fell in love with him. And he made some really great music that I think had a huge influence on music we listen to today and even though he died uh, really early on in his life and career we're still here talking about him in 2020. <laughs> uh, Richard you know um, let's bring you in here because you're no stranger to the Rev actually Alec you weren't either um, but directing this production was a little different this year uh, and the performance itself is a little different so can you t talk us through that? Yeah absolutely so you know when Brett brought on this project and we started discussing it, we knew that we had to follow sort of new guidelines. So we did the entire show social distance um, and maintaining six feet uh, areas around all the actors and finding creative ways to stage these scenes and do this choreography. Um, but, you know, watching the film now that we're in the editing process, it's really amazing. Mm. It's really worked beautifully together. And because it's a, a more intimate cast of 12, um, it looks great and we're super excited to share it. Alec, what were some uh, challenges and some rewarding things going through this whole process? Some pros and cons? Sure. Um, some challenges were, you know, maintaining the six feet social distancing throughout the entire run of the show. Um, I will say Ricky did a beautiful job doing that. It never felt uncomfortable or weird, but there were moments, of course, where, you know, you're acting in an intimate scene or uh, you have these moments where you really want to maybe connect physically with other actors and not being able to do so. That was a challenge. Um, but also a pro to that was kind of like cultivating this new set of skills um, for creating theater during this new time. And I feel like, you know, the whole team kind of left with this greater sense of, okay, this is possible. You can do it safely. And, um, you know, I think uh, you're going to see that, um, in our production so it was challenging but also um rewarding in that sense because we all came together and we took these new guidelines that um you know are kind of crazy considering um how intimate theater is and we made it happen so i think that's the reward you know showing the world really that you can create art during this time safely and responsibly. Yeah, you know, Richard, speaking of creating art, that's exactly what you do as director and choreographer. It's changed these days. I mean, you look at, let's say, Hamilton that's streaming live for people to see. This will now stream for people to see. What do you think it means? You know, what's the positive takeaway, you think, uh, of this having uh, the change like this in your business? I mean, you know, we were really fortunate that Brett and the Rev allowed this production to happen because I think what you'll see in our film is that we really captured a live theatrical event in this film. We did not make a movie. Yeah. You're seeing a live theatrical show. So I think as long as we can hold on to that theater element and not let our audiences forget what it's like to experience yeah. something in that capacity, I think it will help our industry sort of continue forward in this time and ultimately get it back on its feet uh, when we can all be in a theater together again. Mm. Alec, what's mm. your message to the audience? Because I know professionally it must be tough for you guys to be going through this. It's kind of quiet. It's kind of different. It's different for the audience too. So what's your message to them as they hopefully watch this production? Yeah, you know, something Ricky said a lot during our process um, to us as artists is that I hope that this experience fills the well. Um, mm -hmm. Because like you said, it is kind of a quiet time for us uh, as theater professionals. And something I've been thinking about a lot since we wrapped on filming is that I hope that for audiences everywhere um, and in Auburn that are so used to going and seeing these spectacular productions every summer, 
I hope that in the same way that it filled our well as creators, I hope it fills the well for um, mm. our audiences as theater goers and theater lovers. You know, Alec, to piggyback off of that, I just want to know, how did it feel to be back on stage? What it, can you describe what it felt like? I mean, I just got goosebumps uh, <laughs> with you asking that question. It was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, there's not really a way to describe how it feels, um, especially considering the time we're in and considering how special of a place the Rev is. So, you know, to be able to be not only doing theater during this time where a lot of people aren't able to do theater, you know, we got to do it in one of, in my opinion, one of the best places you can do theater. So there's no, there's no real <laughs> words to describe that. <laughs> Pretty fantastic. Well, listen, guys, we just want to thank you so much for joining us. Lovely to chat with you, and we're so glad to see you creating, even in the middle of this pandemic. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. And listen, Buddy, the Buddy Holly story streams September 2nd through the 16th on Broadway On Demand. You can also see it on the big screen at the Finger Lakes Drive-In on September 3rd and 17th at 8.30 p.m. each night. You can get your tickets at therevtheater.com slash buddy dash tickets.